What's up guys? This is Jason from the Jason and Jabari Gaming and today we have our final war against none other than the Matrix for season 40. We faced uh, Matrix earlier on uh, in the season and we actually ended up beating them 5 to 10. Um, so I assume they are out for revenge. But uh, I do get to bring in one of my favorite champions. He's not my favorite tech champion, but he's 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 a close top tech champion. And that is none other than Silver Warrior. So I am super stoked to bring him in and show him off to you guys. Now, um, a little bit of uh, backstory. We have had a tough season um, this season and uh, we're in a must win situations to guarantee that we'll finish Masters. Um, these guys are no joke. They're really, really good. Even though we beat them last time, we know they're in a uh, similar situation. Uh, so uh, I'm going in and I'm max boosting on everything because it's extremely, extremely close. Uh, shout out to J Slap for telling me to take off Dexterity because Spider Man 2099 has a natural uh, evade buff that he can do, uh, like Dexterity type deal. Uh, not evade um so yeah um it makes this fight a little bit simpler it's not necessary i've taken this fight before um but uh just just to make it a little easier we went ahead and uh we took it off so it doesn't eat up our uh quote unquote buff um from getting the uh, neutralizers on us from hitting rentra um so i am going to use power backs um and i'm also going to be uh utilizing um the uh the six hour boost um as you'll already see uh so like i said i'm completely max boosted um i'm only trying to throw special twos in this fight mainly to get that wither up uh the team that i brought in was 2099 uh my civil warrior and a uh, bishop um but yeah man so far everything's going according to plan we did start off with the invo boost here I only had two Power Start 1 boosts and I needed them for later, so I couldn't use them, but I have like five Invo boosts, so uh, threw that on for safety. Uh, we're, we're getting our Dexterity on to keep up that Wither, and then we're hitting into the block a lot, this time a lot more. Uh, I am not a Spider-Man 2099 player, but um, I have been hitting into the block a little bit more. Uh, so here we're going to go for another big special two. That's almost going to take him down. We have two withers on him. Um, and now we're just going to... Uh, I thought we were going to end it there, but I guess we did one more heavy. Now we're hitting back into the block, letting the ruptures do their thing. We'll go for a full five-piece if that uh, medium didn't drop him. Um, so our first fight, successful. I do have six fights. Uh, now, here's where I put on... Or, I'm sorry. Here's where I put back on uh, Dexterity uh, right there. I'm getting ahead of myself. So the next fight, uh, I've taken this before, and this is going to be with my Bishmon. Uh, I'm going to take on the Mole Dude. And uh, yeah, he, he's a tactic defender or global defender. I don't know why I'm saying tactic defender. But uh, yeah, man, uh, just hitting to his block. Um, basically, I, I still have my invo going. So if I eat a special three, it's fine. It doesn't cause you any bleed or anything. Um, and uh, if he tries to shrug my parries, then he's gonna be passively stunned. So I'm very comfortable taking this fight. Um, I'm gonna parry a couple more times to build up uh, my um, my uh, prowess. And then I threw off that special one. So that was good. So now he's gonna be uh, exploding, so to speak, when he purifies them. Uh, so we got uh, that going for us. We bait out this special two. Um, he does have some monster mass buildup, so hitting to his block is dangerous at this point. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, uh, I bait out one more special two. I think I'm going to parry a couple times or I just fired it off. It's, it's unblockable since my, uh, Bishmon is uh, max sig. So at 10 prowess is unblockable. We hit him uh, one or two more times and he goes down. All right. So now. Now we have this Kitty Pride on 24, the Buffet um, node. Um, but uh, my boy Civil Warrior is a uh, nullified immune, so Buffet doesn't come into play. Now we do have to switch over our boost, so this is where we start with the 12% uh, tech boost. I was running 12% science, 200% science. And trust me, I switched boosts a lot. I should not have thrown on the 200% tech here. That was a mistake on my part. 
I am going to throw on another uh, invulnerability boost here for safety. Uh, I'm going to stick to my special ones and uh, I'm going to bait out her special ones. That's the only danger with Kitty um, at this point with this fight. So um, you don't want to push her past 10 prowess because she'll become unblockable. Um, so I knew I was going to be hitting really hard because I'm going to be converting my armor ups into furies a lot. Um, and the damage really ramps up. Uh, I will be parrying. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. As long as we bait out her special ones while she's under 10 uh, prowess, it's fine. There's a 15k crit um, on a special one there. There's a 24k crit. Uh, and she's almost done. She's almost done. We lose our <laughs> our furies here uh, because she, she just doesn't want to play ball. And we're just going to be patient. We have all day. So it's no big deal, but that's only 16 Furies, guys. Uh, Civil Warrior can get up to 50 Furies. So the damage becomes insane. And you see we're critting on our hits. He's not right, really hitting very weak, in my opinion. Um, but this is one of the things I love about Civil Warrior. Um, he has a unique uh, utility kit. Um, and uh, there you just saw it come into play. So the reason why I wanted to stick to special ones is because I didn't want a power drainer because I knew I was going to be creating a lot. Um, so I didn't, I wanted her to be at at least one bar to dump her power. Uh, and it went down, it went down. I know I doom's a thing for most people. Uh, I do have I doom, but I would prefer my civil warrior all day, any day. Um, so yeah, uh, next up we have uh, our fourth fight and this is long shot. You guys have seen me do this with 2099 before. Uh, but I got to switch back power back boost again. Um, I, I did waste that tech one. So that was a mistake on my part. But we're going to throw it right back on the next fight. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, we have time on our invulnerability boost here. Um, so I think I decide to utilize that. I was debating if I wanted to switch over to a power start one here just to get the wither up faster but i said you know what i'm just gonna leave the invo boost on um and just go in with my 2099 uh that was initially and then i go into the fight and i'm like you know what let me just get this power star one it's not gonna take that long um and yeah so i just wanted to urge on the side of caution i thought the power star one was um was more beneficial um because you take the insta bleeds it doesn't matter you're dead and if you take the incinerate, you're dead. So, yeah, um, that was my logic behind that last minute. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, I'm just going to bait out special ones. It's it's going to take a while. The AI this time was just acting super stingy, man. I don't know what was going on. I hit into his block just a little bit. Just give him a love tap. Let him know I'm still here waiting on him, you know. Um, but yeah, man, I'm going to uh, block his special ones just for safety. This is 2099's last fight. I do get dangerously uh, backed up into the corner uh, a couple times there so it was like man uh, come on dude but finally we get the wither on so now we're going to start hitting into the block a little bit there uh, and we're still going to bait out special ones as you can see I'm 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 dexing the ones that you can safely dex but when he gets this karma up there like that we're holding block and we're not moving I do know how to uh, dex the uh, special one relatively safety i know how to dash in and everything but this is about safety and survival we need to win and uh there's no need to risk uh that if i know i can drop this fight he's going down really smoothly so i'm just patiently backing up i still have time on my power start one uh three minutes have not uh elapsed yet so yeah down he goes with the special one couldn't be happier with my 2099 fights. I've only died once uh, this season with them, and that was my mistake. Nobody else's. So, yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with the way I played my 2099. All right, now we have Doppel next. Um, he's an extremely good Battlegrounds player. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, so uh, I'm taking Civil Warrior against this uh, fight. I know people use iDoom here again uh, like they would Kitty, but, uh, yeah, man, um, the the idea for this fight is to throw off my special twos and never let him throw a single special ever um i have max collar tech going i had that uh from the start i was using that against kitty as well that's another reason why i didn't want a power drainer 
um, and uh, yeah so here you you guys are gonna see it I still have my power uh, start one boost going uh, so I'm going to do a combo then I'm gonna stop mid combo and now I'm just gonna parry a couple times uh, those buffs don't mean anything uh, really um, so we're gonna parry for safety right we're gonna bait out a heavy go in uh, and then we're gonna throw off our special two it's gonna drain up to two bars of power um, so now he's back down to zero power. So I'm back at one bar of power because of the power back. So now I'm going to parry a couple more times. Well, we have no danger. We can parry as many times as we want. Um, and yeah, man, uh, we're going to throw off this second special two with nine furies. Uh, that gave us almost a, a third uh, second special two or third special two, excuse me. Uh, and then we just throw that off and uh, yeah. There he goes. There he goes. So, uh, very happy with that fight. Um, couldn't have went any better, but that's the strategy that you probably want to use if you're going to use uh, Civil Warrior. Now, this last fight, we're going to use Bishmon. We are going to throw on the uh, Mutant Power Backs here. Um, this is a little trickier than Mole Man because Mole Man Special 3, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't cause you any bleed. It doesn't back you into a corner or anything like that. Korg is a different story. His special three is going to put you in the corner and then he's going to be unblockable and unstoppable. So that's not going to be a good time. So we have to play this very carefully um, since he is a global uh, defender. Um, as you can see, we're still max boosted. I took all my fights in one go. Um, and basically, I'm going to play like I play Korg in Battlegrounds, basically. Uh, but I did start with a Power Star 1. Um, because uh, I wanted to have a special to kind of play the node. Um, but the first special too, man, look at that. Almost half of his health gone. But I do use decks a lot here. And that's one thing that you want to try to avoid doing. And that's just simply because he gains 10% of his max health every single time you uh, trigger that passive regen buff. Um, so yeah, he's, he's going down, but then this is the part where I start dexing a lot and then I just stop paying attention to his health. I know I have five minutes and uh, I just, I need to pay more attention to the fight than I do trying not to, uh, you know, use dex as much and stuff like that. There I got whacked because I was paying attention to not dexing. Uh, so let that be a lesson to you guys. Don't do that. And then there, I, I was just slow to react. That's still my fault though. Um, but we're at 37 prowess and that's going to end his career, man. So I am very happy with my fights. I've only died twice this season. Very unfortunate deaths, but they happened. Um, and yeah, man, uh, as far as our battle group, uh, we went 50 and one. So we didn't get our sixth donut for the season, but we did break the record. So shout out to uh, BG3, a uh, huge shout out to uh, Minash and uh, Ava, you guys. Um, you guys definitely, definitely are, are elite. Um, the difference between the uh, the good and the elite is consistency, and you guys show up and show out time and time again. So thank you, uh, thank you for making us great. Uh, and we did pull off the dub, guys. We got the dub, so we guaranteed our slot in Masters. Uh, it was so, so close. It was 5-4. Everybody's watching the last few fights because yeah man it was that close and look at the time it, it it was really close on time i think we could have edged it out if we died one more but nobody wanted to figure that part out right so huge shout out to dsvg i'm proud of everybody um we all uh we all went ham man we all showed up and showed out and we did our jobs like we were supposed to um and now we'll just start preparing for next season i will do a uh openings video um of the things that i will open i'm saving my shards for the next feature i have all of these featured all seven of them duped and most of them at rank four uh but yeah so that's gonna do it uh like share and subscribe um and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace